Hello everyone, Deflect here, Firm at Fair Gaming. I want to bring you a video on sunsetting gear in Destiny 2. Why I think this is a bad idea, and why this has frustrated me to the point where I really didn't care that much to uh, to play this season. It's uh, It seems like an unnecessary way to try and stop the power creep, is what they're saying, and they want diversity in their guns. Well, my thoughts on that is, why is anyone going to grind for any more guns or any more armor if you're just going to make it obsolete in two or three seasons? And this this is going to be a huge issue because there's some weapons that people have spent thousands of hours or hundreds of hours on trying to get. I spent hundreds of hours trying to get my spare rations. I spent an absorbent amount of time trying to get this one that only drops in Gambit with overflow explosive payload and it took hundreds of hours and now you're telling me this gun is going to be obsolete randy's throwing knife hours upon hours grinding to get this obsolete Ostringer, eye of the storm rangefinder going to be obsolete it just goes the list goes on and on here's one of the swarm of the ravens where it actually has uh Quick draw, pulse monitors, spike grenades, and hard launch. Obsolete. And, you know, my beloved snapshot sight moving target. Hours upon hours trying to get this one. Obsolete. I understand they don't want to stop the power creep. And there is other ways to do it. So, you want diversity in the game. You want different guns in the game. That's great. You know, that's always good. Why don't you make it a standard TTK time for the best guns in the game, if you want to call it that. So a time to kill time on an Ostringer with this setup is going to be 0.8 seconds if you hit all headshots. A time to kill on the Spare Rations is going to be 0.8 seconds if you hit all the headshots. Breach Light, Outlaw Rampage, Fully Proct, best time to kill you can get on this should be 0.8 seconds. Every TTK should be the same at the best, most optimal loadout with the best perks fully loaded that's what you should be basing your kill times on and that way you won't get power creep you won't have this doing it in 0.6 seconds use it on the best setup you can have and that way you should optimize time to kill and you would stop power creep you could your gun can only kill in 0.8 seconds that is all now with that option if you had an Ostringer being able to kill in 0.8 seconds, a Breach Light 0.8 seconds, a Spare Rations in 0.8 seconds, a Thorn in 0.8 seconds, then it's all fair. You have no advantage and you have diversity of all these weapons. But I grinded gear on gear on gear to get some great rolls. Here's an 86 roll on my headpiece. Uh, this one isn't Masterwork, but you know if you added Masterwork to this, this would be an 83. Here's an 87, an 88. Like these are some of my favorite pieces of gear and you're telling me they're going to be obsolete. Well, it just gets fresh. Why did I grind them? What was the point in grinding those pieces of gear, spending hundreds of hours on? Rangefinder firing line. An amazing line in the sand gun and obsolete. Like I have all these good rolls. Quick draw cluster bomb, gone. This one kind of sucks for Hammerhead, but it's the list goes on and on. I can go to my inventory and all the guns I have that I spent hours grinding for, enjoying the rolls, keeping these good ones. Zen snap or Zen moment snapshot gone. I have a bunch of bows that I liked. It took me forever to get moving target explosive head. Forever to get that gone. Uh, Archer's temple explosive, rangefinder rampage. Snapshot Rampage, all gone, all useless. Um, Substance Multi Kill Clip, Threat Detector Swashbuckler, Great Spear Rations for her up close, gone, gone. Field Prep Rangefinder, gone. Like, it's just frustrating upon frustrating that they're going to get rid of all the hard work, all the grinding, everything you've done to collect these weapons to make sure you had different ones in case you want to use different ones. Quick draw explosive head, you know, I'm, there's a moving target explosive again. Dragonfly explosive head, great for PvE. All, all trash now. Uh, the Last Dance, that takes forever to get one, and it was just pure luck to get moving target kill clip. 
yeah, it's <laughs> frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. I can't say that enough. And that is the reason why I stopped grinding so hard. Because there's no point anymore. Just roll with what you got and who cares. Because the, the sun setting of gear, I have a feeling they're going to bring back, like, Mindbenders. Mindbenders takes for ever to get the roll you want like uh hundreds upon hundreds of upon hundreds of hours to get it and you still might not get it i don't even have the perfect roll on mine and i've done it hundreds of hours and now they want to get rid of all your hard work and i have a feeling they're going to bring back mind benders so you will have to re-grind that so now they want you to grind on top of the grind you've already done which is just a big slap in your face and I don't even have a perfect Kindle Orchid. The best I have is Outlaw Rapid Hit or Outlaw Threat Detector. They're not even great, and I've been trying to get one for a long time. So the fact that they are bringing out this sunsetting of gear so they can have it easy and just bring back, I have a feeling, the same weapons that you have to go back and do the same grind for after you've collected the ones you've wanted is a big just middle finger to everybody here f you and you guys can just regrind the shit that you just did it's i find it the hugest slap in the face and that is why i i don't know i you can see my power level right now is not very high because i just didn't care once they said they're doing that i don't care it's 973 it i just don't care anymore all these guns that were great all these weapons that were awesome are now shit and you're going to you're gonna lose out because Destiny says it's going to affect power creep. Well, the way to fall, a solution to fix that is to make the best setup the same TTK no matter what. You could have it if you want to go that far into all weapons so there is no advantage other than a bit of range or whatever you want to do. Snipers are headshot kill. So other like take that off the table and shotguns are usually one shot kill if you're up close. But all the hand cannons, exact same TTK on the best loadouts. You can do variations on the loadouts, but it's not going to improve your TTK. You know, you can do that with pulse rifles. You can do that with anything. Just make it, do it with sidearms. Like, just make it the same TTK, and you won't have power creep. Submachine guns, perfect. TTK, best optimal TTK, 0.8. That's it. That's all you get. So you could have... Diverse guns instead of doing the same damn grind over and over. And that would actually improve bows because bows are shit in this game and their TTK is awful. Uh, so, you know, that might make some weapons more viable if you had it the same. And that's just my idea. I don't know if it would work or not, but I, like that's something I would, if I was a developer, strive towards. Instead of just saying, oh, well, we have, might have power creep if we bring in a better gun. Well, don't make it better. Make it equal to but different. Or are you just out of ideas that you can't make them different anymore? Or make it a different look. Make it a different, you know, instead of doing a 150, do a 200 RPM. Do a one, do an 80 RPM, but it hits like a truck. I Like, there's other different things you can do other than just saying, oh, power creep and we're going to get rid of all your guns. So that's just my thought on the sun setting. Uh, some of this stuff is going to be affected next season. Uh, Max, light, uh, Max, I can fuse this to is 110. That This is done this season. So all these weapons I have, every gun I have, because I haven't played the new season because I didn't care after I heard this, are all going to be trash. Recluse takes forever to get, or used to back when you had to first get it. Trash. Now for... Everyone else that says, yes, it's only in the high-end content. Yeah, but when don't you want to use it in high-end content? I like playing Iron Banner. Um, I like doing the high-end PvE content. And now you're saying that all my guns are shit and go get some more. All my armor is shit. Too bad. Go get some more. Well, hopefully you get good rolls because these rolls took me forever to get these rolls. And, you know, I'm getting 57 drops now instead of in the 60s. This one is you know 56 drop like it's just mid 50 crap and it takes forever to upgrade and now you're just going to burn through more items which you're going to have to grind for so they're just turning this into a bigger grind game for no reason that is necessary 
Anyways, that's my thought on sunsetting gear. Uh, maybe you guys see it different. Maybe you guys see it as a good thing. Yes, I know Spare Ration Mindbender can be annoying in the Crucible, but this isn't going to stop that. <laughs> it's They'll just find another shotgun to pick up and another hand cannon. It really doesn't matter. It you know They'll grind for those if they really want it. And if they really want to be those people in the Crucible, they will grind for the weapon they want. I won't. I'm tired of grinding for the same guns over and over again. So... Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe you guys, uh, maybe you guys like the sun setting. Let me know if you hate the sun setting. Let me know if this has deterred you from playing. Like, I don't know if this is going to affect the player base. Uh, or a lot more people like me and just don't care to really grind anymore and barely play because of this change. Let me know. Uh, if you can like, subscribe, share. This is Deflect from Firm But Fair Gaming.